How's it going, everybody? Sean Finnegan here. I'm joined by Brian Malkowitz. What's up, guys? Welcome to a Rewind Theater for Destiny, the Taken King. We are t- uh, looking at what was revealed today during Bungie's live stream. This is King's Fall, the new raid. The new raid. It's going to be sweet. Yeah, so we know that this takes place in the Dreadnought, which is uh, Oryx's flying fortress, but we now know that it is in our solar system and it is out by Saturn. Yep. Uh, this is Saturn here the in the background. Saturn. Uh, Oryx, obviously, father of Crota, who is the endgame boss from The Dark Below, uh, Crota's raid. And uh, he's a mad guy. He's not uh, He's not very happy with the I fact mean, that us Guardians killed his son. But his son, really, he got it coming. Like, yeah. He, he attacked was, our planet. He took over our moon. Yeah, he was sitting in the moon, man. He, just, like, he deserved it. Like, He's squatting on our property. He yeah. kind of had to get... He, yeah, you're right. He had what was coming. Uh What's really cool about this, though, is we are first getting we're getting our first look at really the environments and sort of like aesthetic of what's going to be inside the dreadnought. Yeah. Uh, this first shot here, you can see that uh, there's four guardians, but in the next shot we'll see five to six. So yeah, confirmed and probably fire teams of six, like all raids have been prior, right? The guy in the front here has a sleeper simulant, so he's going. Yeah, exactly. Super so, prepared. Uh, we've seen actually, if you take a closer look, that. Uh, you're right. The, the the Guardian front is holding the sleeper simulant, which is that fusion heavy exotic the that quote they revealed. The quote-unquote new Galahorn. Yeah, the the new Galahorn. I, I don't know why people are calling it that. Yeah, I mean, we've seen I've seen a little bit of gameplay of it, and it does take down some uh, quite a big chunk of health. It's pretty powerful. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, but that also appears to be the fusion rifle that they revealed uh, in with the Guardian closest to the screen here called Telesto. Oh, yeah, yeah, the uh, kind of Vestian. Like Vestian Dynasty like weapon. Uh, th- I do believe this is the well, one. Well, that's the one the with the attaching weapon. the explosive on it, and then you can trigger the detonation of the. Yeah, that right. we speculated may work a little bit like Halo's Needler. Yeah. Um, the other Guardian's holding a shotgun, but at the, at the, with that gun and the one with the Guardian behind him. With a scout rifle. Uh, yeah, a shotgun and a scout rifle. Possibly a pulse rifle, but it's at this point like it's too small and not yeah. enough detail in the skin to really get a good look at what it is. But there you have it, different weapon types. Um, I really like just like the interior, like look at all this detail and stuff on the walls and uh, uh, all of these sort of like texture elements that they've been adding to the Dreadnought. This is a flying fortress. It's coming straight out of the Hive world. Yeah, and this the is Taken like- King is part of the Hive, although he's now kind of like made his new, like made his own sort of like deformed army but i think there's going to be a lot to kind of look at in terms of like the aesthetic and the atmosphere about yeah. what the hive really is yeah, about. yeah this is the hive from the source not just stuff built on earth stuff built in our moon yeah crap like that this is where yeah like look at these statues like they look yeah it looks great weirdly this looks human like a, but this looks like thrall you're like right thrall statues like big thrall statues yeah a little bit more upright and less like zombie like but yeah definitely um What's really cool about this that you wanted to point out was this <laughs> room looks very familiar, right? Yeah, it looks like uh, it looks like the room after the lanterns, after you form the bridge, and it, like it's super bright, and you go through into the yeah, next in area. Crota's raid, yeah, in Crota's raid. In Crota's end, and um, it even has the pillars, which it's got you the pillars, all jump you know, over. You jump over the pillars. It looks exactly like that area. Yeah. Except now there's birds. Yeah. So we speculated, like, what is that? You see two guardians walking through here. This is obviously a dark and mysterious corridor of the dreadnought, but there is something flying in the background there. Yeah. I. It can't be a bird, right? Birds don't live in yeah, space, I mean, it, and they it, wouldn't its be wings on a high. Act like a bird a lot, so it's like got to be some sort of like maybe bird a type hybrid, yeah, a bat of some, some sort. sort. Do you, I mean, here's the thing, though. It is very small, and it's in the background. I think it's probably just atmosphere, I think it's atmosphere not a new yeah, enemy, I think enemy it's type, right. right? But it's weird because like we haven't seen animals outside of like birds on Earth, right? I mean, true. I don't re- recall anything anything other than birds on Earth's cosmodrome. No, yeah, or you're right. That's actually animal. a good point. The other thing is we haven't seen a lot of flying enemy types, just in general. Yeah, so if this is some sort of like annoyance that like will like swoop down and hit you or something like that, kind of like the krill from Gears of War. Ah, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that would be really annoying because I hate the krill. <laughs> uh, moving on though, uh, we see again just the regular sort of I don't even know what these guys are Acolytes. called. Acolytes. There you go. Yeah, I mean we've killed so we killed many, so many of, of them, them, but they're never like, look at their names. Yeah, I didn't even don't, I don't even care, care man. I don't Too care easy. about your name. Uh, another really cool thing here is uh, we're getting a look at like some of these new just uh sort of abilities, like you, they've always had the ability uh t- the taken and the hive have always had the ability to like shoot energy bursts, but this one looks like it's coming from this dude's head. 
Yeah. Like, I don't know what, I haven't seen that before. It's a, it's a new thing that Oryx gives this guy when it turns him into Taken or something. Yeah. Um, also, do we think this is Oryx here? I don't think it's, it's hard Oryx. hard to tell. It's hard to tell. Um, it doesn't look as big and there's no yeah. wingspan. Also, Oryx seems to be Actually, mostly kind of looks like a wingspan colored. at the top left there, right in front of the orb. You kind of, looks like it could be a wing. I don't know. Yeah. Um, when I played the Taken King... Uh, story content, the night versions of the Taken do have this like projectile vomit type laser Ooh. thing. So that may be what we're seeing here. Although these appear to be going up into the air when normally they and come forward. And it looks like it's doing arc damage because of that yeah. signature blue. Really interesting stuff there. Yeah. Uh, we get a cl- we get a look at our guardians here. What's uh, again, as we mentioned, this is in the Dreadnought, and there's probably going to be a lot of sort of like hive-oriented things going on here. This appears to be one of those things which is like maybe some sort of ritual where you have all these yeah. acolytes praying or at least doing something to maybe summon something. Yeah, because you see them if you're going on like, like some patrols on Earth or in some sort of specific mission and then you have to interrupt them sort of praying to some orb that eventually spawns some bigger enemy. Yeah, or there's that story uh, There's that story mission in Vanilla Destiny where, or no, it's not Vanilla Destiny, it's one of the Eris Morn quests where you have to go in and sort of like stop them from bringing uh, Crota's soul out of this big shard. Yeah, and you got a bunch, there's a bunch of hive around it. Yeah, like lined up and praying to it, and you kind of interrupt them. Uh, I wonder if something big is going to come out of that room. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, Nothing really to talk about in terms of the Guardians here. You can't really get a clear look at their armor or weapons in in any identifiable way. Right. Uh, This Guardian on the, the the Guardians on the far right here both appear to have some sort of fusion rifles on their back. Yeah. you can't really. This Titan in the middle has a, a hand cannon of some sort, or possibly a sidearm. I think it's side a sidearm. Yeah, yeah. It looks like a silenced 1911 or some sort. Yeah, and that uh, that rifle that the hunter on the far left's holding looks oddly like a battle rifle from Halo, yeah. right? Yeah. So I'm assuming that's probably. I wonder if they're gonna make like some it sort may of battle pulse rifle that. Yeah, it could be a pulse like rifle. It could be an auto rifle. That'd be great if we, we had some sort of know. Easter egg, a pulse rifle that acted as a battle rifle. Or if it was just called the battle rifle. One thing from that, that scene, awesome. though, too, is yeah. that little circular pad on the floor there. Very familiar. Oh, yeah. What do you think you're going to have to do with that? You're going to have to stand on it stand and wait for something it. to activate. <laughs> yeah, to activate something, most likely. Uh, or, you know, if it's like the, the Templar encounter from Vault of Glass, you may have to run in it to cleanse yourself yeah. from some This doesn't debuff. look like a battle area, though, because it's very narrow. True. I think I you'll probably just have to kill those dudes to I don't get think, through the door. Yeah, I don't think you're fighting anything big here. Yeah. Well, Low we'll amount see. of cover, very narrow. Uh, another look here at what everyone is really anticipating: the subclasses. This is the you know the t- uh, the Titan subclass, Sunbreaker, where you basically become Thor, except you throw flaming hammers, which is awesome. Which is really cool. Um, moving on here. Oh, it, we can't really tell what enemy type that is, but it looks to be um, a knight of some yeah, sort. Yeah, it looks like a knight, like kind of like we were talking about before um, when we were mentioning it might be Oryx because it still has that same spherical orb right behind him. Yeah, but or yeah, you're right. It may be because it's hard to tell that it's not just because of like, you know, the frame lasts so so long. And there's no big wingspan, so that's Yeah, he doesn't have be, his wings. This can't be Oryx, he doesn't so. appear to be the right color. Like or Oryx is dark, like very dark all across the board. We, ha- we also haven't this, seen like, like Oryx next to Guardian. Yeah. So we don't know, really like, know the how scale. big he is. But he looks really big yeah. like any other time he's appeared, that's for sure. Uh, also, we don't know what this orb in the background is, but we've seen it a couple times pop up. Like it may be something over soul like ish where, you know, maybe you have to damage it in order to gain a damage buff or whatever to damage these or guys. Or not die. You or not die. Who knows what it is, but it probably isn't just sitting there for no reason. Yeah, it's definitely definitely gonna serve a purpose. Uh, another good look here at the Guardians. One thing that I wanted to point out here is this machine gun on the Guardian uh, in the far right of the frame. That is a new monarchy machine gun. So yeah, like you can gun. tell by the color scheme so is that, in the is that three a rocket red. launcher right in front of him because that looks like future war cult colors with the purple and the purple and red. Oh you mean with the Guardian on the far right standing the far, up. Far far right. Uh, up, it does look like a rocket launcher. I'm not sure it's future war cult. Isn't future war cult like blue and white? I think it has like a mixture of like red, purple, yellow. Okay. I'm not a future War Cult guy. I've I've leveled up Dead Orbit only. Right. Really. Yeah. So I'm a new Monarchy guy, yeah. so I can't be sure. Not. I don't know for sure about that. But like, I my guess would be it's not a future War Cult yeah. just because it's not used. To, it's not the colors that I'm used to seeing with that. Uh, this Guardian right here on the left, closest to us in the screen, Warlock, is a shotgun yeah. on his back, but we can't really see the skin or what it yeah. is. So. But we do get a glimpse of their uh, 
of the uh, Iron Banner gear for the Warlock here with the chainmail. Yeah, you can see when we scroll here, like over this guard or over the, on this guardian's left shoulder, is uh, the wolf that we have on the emblems for Iron Banner. Yeah, and even this even this uh, hunter. Uh, on the far left, standing up, has a cloak that looks a lot like an Iron Banner cloak yeah, and with actually, that sort of leaf pattern. And it kind of looks it. like he's wearing a um, a his helmet for the cloak. Kind of resembles a wolf. Yeah, it does. Like it has the ears sort of and it has the you know the mane, the hair. Like the Rock in Hercules yes. might wear this yeah, as totally. part of his costume. And I love that the Warlock's um, um, robes here look an awful lot like the Heart of Praxic Fire. Oh yeah, you were uh, mentioning that with the chainmail. And they'll sort of lay out just different colored with the Iron Banner logo. That is very cool. I, I love seeing sort of more old school design mentalities in Destiny because it's so futuristic. Like, Chainmail doesn't seem like it would do anything in a game no. like Destiny, but it certainly looks cool. Yeah, that's what matters. Yeah, for sure. Um, here we're taking a look at just the uh, the Taken King, for, or the Taken version of the Ogres, right? Like, Ogres were these big hulking things that you had to shoot in the head to do extra damage, but they would, like, emit this sort of, like, laser energy beam from the... F like their face that would basically yeah. like destroy you if you stood in it for too long. That looks to be like what's happening right here. Um, here we're looking at two guardians jumping up onto some sort of mid tower platform thing. Bungie has confirmed that there's probably going to be some light platforming or puzzling elements as part of the dreadnought, whether that's been part of like boss encounters or just like something you'll have to do yeah. similar to, uh, the vaults of glass where you have to kind of jump down these big cliffs onto platforms that are invisible and like appear and re or disappear and reappear. Yeah. This but may be not, just a different version of that. That's such a short like platforming part of that entire vault. Like that'll take, you know, two minutes max if you yeah, if you're skilled, familiar with it. Yeah, if you're familiar with it or you're skilled, it won't take you very long. Yeah, because it's really only just three platforms, yeah. literally three platforms, and you're jumping over. It's two sets of jumps yeah. if you're smart and choose the right platforms, right. for sure. Um, but, I mean, that's something I would really like to see is Guardians having to work together and jump up and do, like, you know, maybe there's a lever up here that you have to hit in order to save your Guardians from taking damage below or something right. like that. It would be cool. But there's it doesn't. Only, there's only two of them jumping up. Yeah, there's only two of them jumping up, but it doesn't appear to be that the idea to go any higher than this. You right, because it doesn't look like there's anything else you can jump on except for this other far right ledge. Yeah, and but there I even appears the... to be some sort of sky, like like some sort of glass whatever yeah. container thing there at the top that you can't really go higher than. Who knows? We'll see. Uh, the the reverse sort of drop going down into Crota's raid. I guess this is, this we're is going what up we now. like to call the dark above. Yeah. Or the light above, because <laughs> you see light at the top there. You don't see any dark. Uh, we got a Titan here who's, you know, this, we can tell because of the uh, the Titan mark around his waist. Yeah. This is the dead orbit one, yep. right? Yep. Yeah, black and white. Uh, I got to admit, I think Titan marks look really stupid. I still think they look like bath towels. Yeah, they really do. Uh, I don't think this is a playable area, but this is yet another big sort of open chasm in the Dreadnought. Yeah, it doesn't look like, I wonder if this, wouldn't it be kind of crazy, now that I'm just thinking about seeing this for the first time, what if this is like a platforming area, like you have to jump along these these ships before they disappear? Oh, that would be really cool, Good. although I need, you need super mad hops because those ships are huge. These are skiffs, like you That's see true. them out That's in the public world. That's a very big distance in between those two. Yeah, like you see them out in the public world, like these are the, you know, when the wolves appear or when, you know... Uh, any sort of like when the just when a public event happens, this is how it yeah. happens out in the world. These ships fly in and drop off enemies. They're pretty big, right? Uh, which makes me think that this room is enormous. Yeah, and I just don't really see anything that you, you would can, be jumping on. Yeah, but in the Actually, very next shot, this now looks, that I think about it, look at the top of this. Yeah, this this one all the way to far right. Look at the top of it. Yeah, kind of notice it and then skip forward to the next to the next cut. This looks like the same thing. Oh, like one of these sort it of looks like, like the top of looks like the top of one of these ships. You're actually right. So what if that? Because oh, it is, it is moving. Look. So if you keep frame by frame, that moves down. So oh, that's totally, or the that's, camera may just be coming up. Okay, it kind of it still. But you're right. Like it, you're right. It, it still kind of looks like it's moving. You know, you are right with the whole like this does what the guardians are standing on here looks an awful lot like the top of that ship. So it looks like <laughs> that is some sort of platforming element. That could be cool. Like where you have to make it to the edge of this before if you skip to the next thing. You get you end up there, so you have to make it to the end of this, so maybe you have to jump across before it gets too far down. Yeah, or maybe like it's moving forward and it's speeding up, and you have to wait till it gets to its maximum speed before you jump, so you can acquire its oh, momentum, you momentum and you get like a big across. long jump. Yeah, that could be cool because yeah, there does not appear to be any other way to get to what looks like a door on the other side of this giant. You That's know, a great chasm. reuse of re of existing assets because it's th those ships are flat on top, so if you make that 
part of of platforming feature in the Dreadnought. That'd be cool. Yeah. I mean, obviously, we can't confirm that that's actually what's happening here, but if no, it is, yeah. you heard it here first. Brian Malcolm called exactly it. It looks exactly like the top yeah, it of does, the ship, right? right before no, that's actually next... a great catch, for sure. A fallen catch? Uh, um, and then we probably get our, like, closest look at, or our, not uh, closest look, but, like, maybe our best look at what the swords are going to be yeah. like in Destiny. We have two Guardians, like, coming through and slashing these thralls just in half and uh when you back up one frame up oh, right there you see that these swords actually have different elemental types yes yeah, so you have an arc and a void here we don't really get to see the void in action but you can see the arc one just tearing them up in a it's, it looks amazing yeah so we you know we know that swords are going to be a new t weapon type in the game we don't exactly know how they're going to be deployed. We did see during the stream today that someone had an exotic sword that looked much bigger and more powerful than this, which makes me believe that this is probably just from a part of an encounter in the Dreadnought where like a Scorch Cannon works with a captain. You knock out the captain, you grab his Scorch Cannon, you have like X amount of charges or time before it just like dissipates. I think yeah. that that's probably what's happening here. Uh, Bungie has also said that You'll be able to use swords to block incoming damage. And here we have a guardian. And here we blocking. have a guardian doing just that. Uh, I don't know what kind of weapon or what kind of primary elemental primary do you, or elemental thing do you think is going on here? This looks like arc. Looks like an arc looks, one. Looks got that that signature blue. Yeah. So they've said you know like some swords will block arc damage but be weak to solar damage or vice versa or you know just sort of like the around the you know. Each one has a weakness. Each one has yeah. a strength type thing. Um, but yeah, that does appear to be what's happening here. Is he's very he's very obviously up front and he's blocking something. And you got a guardian behind him who's shooting something. Yeah, it's pretty cool. One thing we haven't mentioned um, that we see earlier in the in this trailer is the uh, little glowing red above the heads of the guardians. Um, oh, you think that it may be like a, it might not be like a type of weight of darkness type thing. I mean, I know they're like right here. Right here, it. yeah. I mean, we saw it in the in the screen we were just looking at too, with the blocking, with the, uh, with the uh, the sore. We still see it on it. So I wonder what sort of uh, debuff that might be debuff going on there. Be happening yeah. Here. Interesting. Um, and then here we have yet another look at two different swords. We think that that's what a void sword on the far left void there. Void side, far left, and then, and then uh, obviously a solar sword here on the right. Yep. But two guardians running up and boom. Dead. Just takes him out. You're dead. But it looks Jim. like it looks like he doesn't kill him because that's arc explosion. Unless that was some sort of. Uh, oh well, this is this is two different cuts, I think. Yeah, yeah, because you or have this guy enemies, carrying a, so a flame sword. It cuts. He but, still ha he still has a flame sword on though. But that dude's on the other side here now, and the, it's a uh, different arc. one. Yeah. He's a. That sword looks awesome. Yeah, the one on the great. left. Both of them look really cool. I hope you don't have to use two hands when you're slinging because oh well, they're using one hand. Oh yeah, so that was the other thing is during the stream actually if you um, were eagle-eyed enough to be able to read the upgrade bubbles on the sword like in the split second that laced up oh, that Lauren spent. They, they did that purposely so you would pause it once oh, yeah. it's over if you're recording it. Oh, the... yeah. They do, They definitely do that yeah. on purpose. Like, don't hover on the bubbles too much because <laughs> we want people to pause and like, yeah. go back and read them instead of just reading them here. But uh, it did appear that there are different types of actual like attacks. Like, there's one where you can, like, it's more of an uppercut mechanism where you're slashing up with the sword mm. there's one where you're coming down with the sword there seems to be a bunch of different ones and we'll only time will tell as far as like how varied those attacks actually be i'm will really be. hoping this is one of the first weapons i get when the tank king comes out that flaming sword yeah. i mean that's just thing the flaming is, sword but any sword yeah that's that sword is awesome all the swords look awesome but yeah. particularly this flaming I hope sword there, i hope there's an exotic where you can change the elemental type Ooh, that would be really cool. Uh, so yeah, that's the close. That's our look at King's Fall, and the big sort of announcement there that they made during the uh, Bungie stream was that that raid, the raid, will actually be available three days after launch. Very quick, way. Qu I mean, because like we we didn't expect it would be available on launch day, anyways. Yeah. No raid has ever been available the moment that content was available. Yeah, and when that was speculation, and then when Bungie did announce that the raid wouldn't be available on the launch of the Taken King, there was actually a little bit of backlash in the community. People wondering, like, well, if it, when is it going to be available? I think a little bit too much of a backlash. I think so too. I mean, they didn't say when, but they also didn't say not. They didn't say a month later. Yeah, and I think that was the I think that was the worry on the part of the community yeah. was that they were just worried that you know you'd buy the Taken King and you wouldn't be able to access what ostensibly is the most enticing content in the game for about a month after launch, which yeah. is how it was with Vault of Glass. Yeah, but I mean that yeah, of course. I mean you had a huge 
you know, camp not a huge campaign, but I mean, plenty of story well, content yeah, there's to go a lot through. To do, yeah. A lot to do before you can even get to that. With this, Mary, you don't have as much to do before you can actually get in there. Yeah, Assuming most most guardians will probably be at 34 by the time they jump into the Taken King. Yeah. You'll get you'll have to get to uh, to 40. But yeah, I mean, there's also we don't have a lot of details about the raid. Like it, it may not be like Vaults of Glass where you can go in at 26, but it's recommended that you're 28. Right. It may like, be the case that you got to be 40 and you have to have a pretty high light level if you want to get in there and yeah. actually be able to do anything. I wonder if light level, I don't even know if light level will even be part of that. Yeah, it your may not requirement be. because it's not a gear based thing anymore. It's like level, it's all level based now. But yeah, so that's really interesting stuff. Uh, thank you very much, Brian, for sitting down and talking yep. through this with me. Uh, this, like I said, this teaser was part of the Bungie stream, which was live today. Uh, if you need more information on that, head over to Bungie.net. But for everything else, Destiny and the Taken King, uh, you are already in the right place. IGN.